What's up guys, it's your boy Stomp, and welcome back to another Critical Ops Strategy Guide. Today we'll be going over the best smokes and flashes on the new map, Port. If you've been keeping up with the series, you already know that the video will go as follows. Map layout, T-side smokes and flashes, then CT-side smokes and flashes. Before we get into it, let me know in the comments below what map you would like to see next. But with that said, let's get into the map layout. Port is the newest map added to the Critical Ops map lineup, and it has an interesting appearance. Firstly, the map layout is an off-center four-square map. All that means is that it's divided up into four parts like a four-square map, except B-site takes up one side, while both spawn points and A-site are divided accordingly on the other side. There is an open skybox on the outside and some decently high ceilings on the inside. The Coalition also has direct access to B-Site and have two different ways to enter A-Site. The Breach only have one main access point that branches off in three different directions to go either A, Container, Window, or B-Long. This map is stacked on the CT side, obviously, but with the right smokes and flashes, either team can cough up a win. Now let's get to T side smokes and flashes. Since the breach start outside, there's a lot of room to throw smokes and flashes without blowing your cover. The best thing about these smokes and flashes spots is that they all can be thrown from the same spot with some alterations with lining up your crosshair. Starting with the first throw spot that will block off CT mid from A. Squish yourself in between the signpost and the fence and look to the right side of the red light on the truck. For the flash, perform a jump throw. Then for the smoke, look up to the wire above the truck and perform a jump throw again. These next throws are from the same spot but can block off forklift by A site and the back of A site. Squish yourself in between the crane post and the container, turn and look at the right side of the tires, line up your crosshair to the wire above the containers, and throw both the smoke and the flash. To throw for the back side of A, stand in the same spot, but line up your crosshair with the K in the groove on the container. Look up to the wire above the containers and jump throw the smoke and the flash. These next throws will help the breach enter B long by smoking off the cross to the stairs and flash all of B long. Squish yourself in between the barrel and the green container, line up your crosshair on the gap in between the Z's, and jump through the smoke. For the flash, look to the top of the containers and throw. These throws will require timing, but they are not hard to perform. Same goes for the coalition. So let's get into their throws. Now, the Coalition don't have the advantage of having the smoke and the flash throws in the same spot or having the open skybox, so they can't throw from spawn. However, there are about as many retake throws as there are delaying the push throws. The first spot is from mid, and you can throw the smoke and the flash from this spot. For the flash, look up at the wire by the corner of the blue crate and jump throw. This will flash everyone in mid. For the smoke, line up with the top right corner of the red crate, look up to the corner of the pipe connector, and throw. This will land in the crate leading into A, locking it off from A long for the T side. To retake A site, squish yourself in between the barrels and the crates, and look up to the second wire clamp from the left of the light, then jump throw both the smoke and the flash. The fastest way to get into A-Site from there is to go through Window. The next smoke and flash are to block off access to be along and stairs, but they are thrown from different spots. The smoke is thrown from behind the truck, and you line up with the edge of the containers visible from where you're standing, and up to the bottom right corner of the spotlight, and jump throw.
For the flash, squish yourself in between the pole and the barrels and look at the groove in between the crates and the cell tower. Look up to where the red and the white on the lower part of the tower are connected and jump through. This will flash all of T-side B long. These next throws are to block off window on A to mid. Stand in the door post and line up with the dark part in the middle. Look over to the window and in between the green and gray crate on the left. Look down to the second ledge of the crane and jump throw. If done correctly, the smoke should land on the crates and block off the window entirely. The flash is from the same spot. Just look at the first ledge and jump throw. This will flash anyone going into mid. Now I have been saving the B retake throws for a reason, and it has to do with positioning. The safest way and fastest way to retake B is by going through the coalition spawn. The other ways are too direct and open to try and go in unnoticed. There is also the backside of B that players can also hide in, but they will most likely be looking into B long, or B. These next smokes and flashes will help redirect the breach from their hiding spots if they have planted on B site. One smoke will block off balcony and allow you to catch players that are hiding there. Stand in the back of CT spawn and squish yourself in between the wall and the iron beam. Look for the blue sliver at the top of the boxes and jump throw. You could also throw the flash here as well to blind anyone and everyone on B site. This next smoke will block off B site. Squish yourself in between the wall and the iron beam in front of CT spawn. Look all the way up to the light and line up the top of the triangle with the light and jump throw. You can also throw a flash and a smoke from the pallets to block off the player looking into B long. Just squish yourself in between the pallets and the wall and look at the corner of the light closest to you and jump throw. You probably already noticed, but if you hadn't, let me enlighten you. This map starts out as a CT sided map, no question, making it hard for the breach to take each bomb site directly. However, with the right smokes and flashes, the breach will have an easier time planting the bomb and it immediately becomes a T sided map. So if either team goes without buying utilities, they will automatically lose the round. The only way for a team to win without utilities on this map is if they are really good players playing against noobs. No exceptions. Which is why learning these smokes and flashes are important, because they could change the tide of the game in a matter of seconds. Remember to practice these throws, as they will be beneficial for not only you, but for your team. Except for team flashes. But other than that, there you have it. Those are the best grenade throws on port. If you have any questions, post them down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Follow me on Twitter, at StumpDaddy, all lowercase, no space, and hit the bell icon to get notifications. And as always, stay safe. Bye-bye.